one of my least favorite things to eat in this world, Pop-Tarts. But one of my most favorite beverages, root beer. This is gonna be interesting. I just wanna say shout out to all the gym bros that still believe in the post-workout anabolic window uh, because this is dedicated to you. All right, everybody, we're here with the live stream right now. We are going to review the AMW root beer Pop-Tart. This is something that caught my eye in the aisle today and I hate, 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 shout out to the Grinch right there, <laughs> Pop-Tarts. I have always been a huge Toaster Strudel fan, and so when I saw these today, I had to pace around for a little bit, and then I thought to myself, you know what, it's got root beer in it, let's try it out. So that's what we're gonna do right now, that's great. I have so many loyal subscribers that like to tune in to my live streams. I'm giving you all a shout out right now. Sophie Fitness, Hanan, Lauren Patrick, Yasin. I'm not one to open things with my teeth. That's actually a big joke because I always open things with my teeth. So that, what we have here. All right, everybody, Harold and I are ready for this. Live stream is ready for this. Let's do the taste test. I don't know what I think. I don't know what I think. One more bite. Okay. So, first impressions of this one, I get a strong, strong root beer-like taste. And um, I just wanna say shout out to all the gym bros that still believe in the post-workout anabolic window uh, because this is dedicated to you. <laughs> trying, to, trying not to laugh right now. Okay guys, I had a Pop-Tart challenge that I did about a year ago and it was called the IFYM Pop-Tart Challenge. Shout out to all of you subscribers who know about that challenge. So I just wanna say the first thing that I noticed, first impressions of this, I get a huge burst of the uh, root beer flavor. That's great. I almost felt like there was a singe of carbonation within this Pop-Tart, and that's pretty damn awesome in my opinion. If you can put that in a Pop-Tart, you got a lot going for you. I like the fact that the Pop-Tart itself isn't like the typical Pop-Tart. Cardboard, pretty much. This has actually got some chocolate in here, and this little, you know, Pop-Tart, you don't go straight for it pop the filling, you want to eat the entire Pop-Tart, actually, and not just eat the inside of it. First impressions of this one are good. I will say that the frosting doesn't really add much to this, unfortunately. So, I'm just gonna say, I mean, if you are a root beer fan, and you really love root beer, I mean, I could take a bath in root beer every night and be completely satisfied with my life. So, I would definitely go and get this. Now, I did have the option to get the orange, I think it's called the Orange Crush. Pop tarts, and I just I couldn't I that I could not picture in my head as being good. So I went with the AW root beer ones. Uh, now for the nutrition breakdown of this, this is for one pastry or one pastillo in my native tongue. Um, we have 200 calories, five grams of total fat, one and a half grams of saturated fat, or zero milligrams of cholesterol. So hey, that's good. I mean. I guess we can eat the entire box now. 170 milligrams of sodium, 36 grams of carbohydrates, 15 grams of sugar. Alrighty guys, so that's been the review. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a comment below. Leave a suggestion for the next thing you want me to review as well. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up if you haven't already, and feel free to follow me on my social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. You know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video, guys, and go ride a bike. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What, 9,000? Uh